Where is Rokas Jokobitis? This is the budding EuroLeague star that the New York Knicks selected with the 34th overall pick in the second round in 2021. He was supposed to be part of the Summer League roster for this season, but when that roster list was recently released, his name was not on it. So it led to a lot of fans asking, where is he? What's his status? Do the New York Knicks still retain him? And what's been going on with him? Today, we're going to look into Jokobitis and a lot of things that's been going on with him and answer why he's not part of the Summer League squad for this season. We're going to do all of this and more today. Let's get started. We have a Rokas Jokobitis update. So a lot of people and fans have been asking since the Summer League roster was just announced, why Jokobitis was not on that list. A lot of fans have been clamoring to see this budding star play for the New York Knicks Summer League team. But according to Ian Bagley, we now have an update as to why Rokas Jokobitis is missing the New York Knicks Summer League this season. According to Ian Bagley, Rokas Jokobitis, the Knicks second round pick in 2021, is not on the team's Summer League roster due to Lithuanian nation team commitments. Knicks say they have been in touch with the 22-year-old guard and his group throughout the decision-making process. So this is some bit of news here because we didn't really know what was going on with Jokobitis. A lot of people thought that the New York Knicks just simply didn't ask him to come and be part of Summer League, which would have broke a lot of people's hearts because, again, he is a budding star in EuroLeague. So a lot of people want to see what he can do. Thankfully, now we know to Ian Bagley that is not the case because per his report, the New York Knicks are honoring his request with his Lithuanian Nations team and allowing him to participate in that team's direction and what they got going on this summer versus having him come over to uh, New York and play in our summer league in Vegas. It makes a lot of sense to me why Jokobitis would do this. Again, if you have a commitment to your team, your home team, where you come from, then you're going to honor that commitment. So it's not a surprise to see him doing this. I'm happy to see him doing this. I do think, though, that seeing him in Summer League would have been a little bit more impactful for his career because I think a lot more eyes would have been glued on Summer League and watching what he can do. Nonetheless, though, I am still very, very excited to hopefully one day see this kid play Summer League and other important games for the New York Knicks. But as of this year... We're not going to see Rokas Jokobitis in Summer League. But that begs the question, where has he been? He's 22. The Knicks drafted him in 2021. We haven't seen him. We've seen a lot of Miles McBride, but why haven't we seen Jokobitis? So fans have been asking, where has Jokobitis been? Where have the Knicks quote-unquote been stashing him? Well, we looked into this and we found out the following information. Rokas Jokobitis is currently in Spain playing with FC Barcelona of Liga ACB for the past two seasons. This season, he helped his team make the EuroLeague Final Four, where they lost to Barcelona's main rival in all sports, Real Madrid. So it does look like he's actually being part of a piece to contend in Barcelona and for what that team is doing. It's good to see that while Jokobitis will not be joining the Knicks in the Summer League, that he still has strong ties to the New York Knicks organization, and of course, that the New York Knicks are in communication with him, are having talks with him, and are making sure that they're following up with him, his responsibilities, and his status. That, at the very least, shows you that the New York Knicks still have continued interest in him. But I get a lot of questions from a lot of different Knicks fans regarding who is Jokobitis, why did the Knicks draft him, what can he do, what's his skill set, well, let's go into that a little bit. The scouting report on Jokobitis was that he was a combo guard with a clear offensive instinct. He had the makings of a solid shooter from both long range and mid range and had outstanding court vision. He was billed as a high IQ player who made good reads and was effective in pick and roll situations. So coming into the draft, we knew when we drafted this kid that he was a point guard type of player, that he could shoot, which clear as day, the New York Knicks definitely need more of that. But not only could he shoot, but he could play point guard and do so a little bit more pure than some other people in his draft class could. So that went a long way in the New York Knicks drafting him and adding him to their roster. Or at least we thought at the time we were going to add him to the roster. We didn't know he was going to be a stashing grab, 
by meaning that we were going to grab him and put him in a league somewhere, have him develop there, check on him from time to time, and see when he was ready to take that next step into the NBA. But it's good to know that this is why the New York Knicks were looking for him, this is what they scouted for him, and this is why they drafted him. Now here's where the story gets even more interesting. After the New York Knicks drafted him, Yoka Bidas, I guess, gained a lot of confidence from that, and he started going off in the EuroLeague, becoming a rising star in that league. After the 2021-2022 season, the Knicks draft pick earned the EuroLeague Rising Star Award, averaging 7.2 points and 2.8 assists, while shooting 59% from behind the arc. The win put Yoka Bidas in a group with previous honorees like Luka Donick, Ricky Rubio, and Danilo Gallinari. He was the first Lithuanian-born player to earn the award. And again, look at this. 21 years and 333 days. That's how old he was when he won this award. Look at this list. Look at some of the great names on this list. One of those lists mainly being Luka. When you are in the same breath, the same space with Luka Donick, that is special. That is important. Now, I can already hear you guys from the comment sections now. Tom Thibodeau doesn't do well with rookies. Tom Thibodeau ruins rookies. Tom Thibodeau doesn't play rookies. I hear that. So before I even did the video, the first thing I looked for was some evidence to see if Tom Thibodeau liked this kid and would play this kid. And thankfully, I found some. Previously, when Yoka Bidas played for the Knicks Summer League in 2022, Tom Thibodeau liked what he saw from the young guard. And this is what he said. It would be more of a question for the front office as to when the young guard would be coming over to play for the New York Knicks. But according to Tom Thibodeau, we liked it a lot when he played for the Summer League. I hope he has a good season, and then in the summer, we'll see. But yes, I would like to see him. That is praise from your head coach, or soon-to-be head coach, in Tom Thibodeau. When you get that type of response from Thibs after you ask him a question about a player, it should tell you how high in regard Thibodeau sees that player. Now, he's a rookie, so there's a little bit of stock we'll take into that. But him being a budding star in the EuroLeague, Tom Thibodeau liking what he can do, I think it's worth the shot to bring him to New York. Hopefully he earns a roster spot and just see what he can do. Obviously, with there's a lot of question marks around the Knicks right now in regards to the guards that they're going to have on the roster for next season, they might make a very big move soon that includes some of their young guards going in that trade. And if that happens, the Knicks might need a guard even more so. And that might open up a spot for Yoka Bidas to be added to the Knicks. I'm not holding my breath on it, but it's good to see that if a spot were to be available, that at the very least, Tom Thibodeau shows some appreciation for this kid and his skill set. And I hope that goes a long way in him earning a roster spot for this Knicks team at some point in time. The unfortunate part here for Yoka Bidas is his time with Barcelona saw him go up and down, so his season wasn't as strong as a lot of people thought it was going to be. With Jokobaitis not taking a major step forward this season in Barcelona, it feels likely that the Knicks would choose to let the 22-year-old spend at least one more season honing his game abroad, and this was reported by AM New York. His past first game would make him a pure backup point guard to Jalen Brunson which would be beneficial to have another ball handler in the rotation. But the Knicks' primary concern right now is floor spacing and perimeter defense, which are not areas where Yoka Bidas would be a clear upgrade right now. While Yoka Bidas can do some things very, very well, like shooting and like pure point guard play, he struggles with defense. Now, while Tom Thibodeau did give him praise and does like him, we all know that if you're going to play consistent minutes under Tom Thibodeau, you either need to be a star that he likes a lot, or you need to come into this league with a defensive-minded approach. The unfortunate part is he doesn't have that. Not yet. But unfortunately for this season, especially when it comes to summer league, 
we will not be seeing Jokobitis suit up for the New York Knicks. It's likely that he's also not going to be joining the team for a spot, even if a spot does get open for the New York Knicks roster. It's likely he's going to spend one more year abroad honing that skill and getting ready for the NBA. But once he is ready, best believe the New York Knicks will be calling to see how they can add that talent to the roster and hopefully help it develop as the years continue to go. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment below, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.